Last fall, my wife fulfilled a lifelong dream and ended up going to Africa, to Nairobi, Kenya. She got to go there with a microenterprise project that was started here in the States called the Global Bag Project. It's a project that actually is meant to help the women who make the bags to uh, help improve their lives, provide food for their families, and make these beautiful bags, reusable shopping bags out of traditional African cloth. And it's really amazing. In fact, these bags are really cool too. And Pam went there to support these women and to find out what they were doing and to kind of encourage them along and bring back some bags to sell here so the money can go back to the women that were making the bags. Now, while Pam was there, she visited several other micro-enterprise projects. And whether they were making jewelry or beads or glassware out of recycled material, it was amazing all the stuff she saw that was going on in order to provide women who were under-resourced and kind of marginalized a chance to provide for their families and make a life for themselves by actually using their skills and making this stuff to sell other places. Pam came home with a huge question in her mind. Is this a model that's replicable here in the States? Is it possible to start your own global bag project with women who have immigrated here to the States and have nothing to do with their lives? And she was kind of wrestling with this and she continues to wrestle with this. What's her call? And what would it be that they would make? And how would they go about doing that? How could they get women involved so that they could actually make a life for themselves and have dignity? Um, here's a question for you to think about. You know some people maybe in your community that are under-resourced. What can you do? What kind of global bag project can you do to help them earn an honest living for themselves, to help them provide for their families? This is what justice is all about in the Bible. It's helping people not just to give them a gift of mercy and another handout. It's helping people to actually I don't know, achieve the dignity and the purpose for which they were made, and then be able to provide for their families in the same time. So it gives people a great life that God intended for them. So what can you do? How can you bring justice to your community?